today I'm going to show you how to get mold out of wood. This is what these tables look like before treating the mold. And this is what they look like after. The first thing you want to do is you're going to have to get your wood nice and dry. It has to be totally dry in order to do this. You can put it in front of a fan, you can put it in a hot attic. You just have to make sure that the mold and the furniture is all the way dry before you start. You definitely want to do this outside or in a very well ventilated area. I recommend outside and you definitely want to wear a face mask. I'm going to use a small brush that has wire bristles. You can buy these brushes at a hardware store and probably at Walmart. But I'm going to use this one because I can get in all the corners and crevices with it. If you have mold and or mildew on the outside, the painted area, you can clean that with a bathroom cleaner or you can use a diluted bleach mixture to do that. I would not use the wire brush on the outside. You could use a softer brush, but probably the outside is either painted or stained and you literally will just have to wipe that off. After your mold or mildew is dry, it will actually just come right off with the wire brush. This is why I have the small brush, because all of these little corners down in here, it's impossible to get them with the big brush. Next, you have to clean all of the dust off. I'm using a microfiber towel, but you can use uh, an old t-shirt or rag, whatever you have that you don't mind throwing away once you're done, because it's gonna have mold particles in it. This is the, another one from inside that I'm gonna use on the bottom. You can use pretty much any spray paint or paint you want to use. You could use chalk paint or latex paint to seal the wood. I like to use Rust-Oleum Clear Matte Two Times Ultra Cover. It's about 450 a can and it has this wonderful nozzle that makes things spray really well, rarely gets clogged up, and it's just a really cheap, effective way to do this. And spraying it to seal it is far faster than any other method. This is not an easy thing to spray paint in that it's not easy to fan your can perfectly in and out. You're going to have to just try to cover the surfaces and fill all the crevices as best you can. One coat is good, but two coats is always better. It will just seal everything. It will look nice and it will keep any uh, odors from mothballs or whatever from coming out and it will smell like fresh clean new furniture so here are the results this took about 10 minutes of cleaning with a wire brush and then spraying it with a clear coat to make it look like this i think it looks awesome you would never know what was here before i did this so that's it for today please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching